Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday. What a week we are having here. A Champions Week. Four winners. There can only be one winner on Friday. One winner of this extraordinary golden trophy right there. We also have a little side bet on our hands as well, which we will get to. Our players this week are BT Edmondson, Adrian Edmondson, Team Bob. And Angela Barnes. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, the little side bet we have on our hands is the, the family battle, father v daughter. The Edmondson off. Uh, Aid v BT. Yeah. Uh, and at the moment, one game all. Yeah. One yeah. day. Although, we're thinking that we might join forces and be a team. <laughs> OK. So that we can join our points, and that way we might beat Angela. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, team Edmondson. Tedmondson. Tedmondson. That's What's right. the only chance you've got? I yeah. think so. <laughs> It's interesting, after the last show, and I was saying, look, this one show all, and you've got the same points, so we'll take a look at the weekly leaderboard here with Angela at the top and the two of you tied for second. But I said, look, yeah. it's one game all, you've both got five points, but then Aid turned to you and said, I do actually have more points than you overall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, that's a dad for you, isn't it? I don't think I said it as meanly as that. I thought I, thought I was japing. <laughs> uh, Kima, bottom of the leaderboard, but that's not going to continue. We're going to get some points yeah. for you, right? Hey! And, and you know what? I don't need to win as long as another brilliant woman does. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that Kima is a stroke of luck. Um, <laughs> I'm a good, I'm a, I have a good chance. Now, Angela, shall we take a little look at today's prizes? There are Russian Ooh. dolls, there's a golden decanter, there's a golden toilet set. <laughs> there is, I know. There's a golden cafetiere and a golden what? Oh. What do you fancy? I think the cafetiere, possibly. I do love a Russian doll. Mm. Kima, what would you go for? Well, I've just learned the word cafetiere. Oh, yeah. You mean <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally just now or recently? Yeah, like the when you said it and then I think you said it as well, <laughs> kind of drilling it in. Now, I've said it. I'll never forget. Um, <laughs> and if I have the chance to say it again, I think that's what I'd say. So you're going to go cafetiere? because yeah. then you'll never forget the word, eh? Yeah. Uh, I've got a gold toilet, so I might as well have a gold toilet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Right. Oh, I hope that's true. Uh, <laughs> BT, what would you go for? Uh, I mean, hey, let's go for the watch. Bit of bling. Yeah, bling it up. Why not? I mean, you say bling. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's bling. Is, is there a... Yeah, yeah it's something, whatever the subset of bling is. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. um, let's get right along, shall we? Play five new rounds. Our first round is... The answers in the question will start with you, BT. I'll ask you a question. Part of that question will be in capital letters, and the answer to the question is an anagram of those capitals. Oh, okay. OK. Our first category is this. Holidays and special occasions. I love those things. On this eve, you can expect fireworks to fill up the sky, wafting huge billows of smoke across towns and cities. OK. Uh, yeah, Guy Fawkes Night. Guy Fawkes Night? Absolutely right. Oh, well done. This is something I've never called it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bonfire Night, isn't it? Bonfire yeah, well, I would say Bonfire Night. But this is Guy Fawkes Night. Well, I guess it's a better anagram, isn't it? <laughs> it's an anagram of sky wafting huge, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Aid, here is yours. Though it may result in mild nausea, set dry, boring snacks aside on this holy day and indulge in a few chocolate eggs. That's Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. Absolutely. Very well done. <laughs> oh, thank you. Kima, uh -huh. a holiday or special occasion for you? This is a popular time of year for couples, evidently, as an awful lot of money is spent on romantic gifts. Well, I feel almost disrespected by how easy this is. <laughs> um, oh, but... she's got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guy Fox night. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just double checking. Great Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I was Day. like, is it Saint Valentine's Day? Then I was like, sitting here, I was like counting the S's. I was like, okay, great. Yeah, I'd have given it to you. <laughs> Valentine's Day is the answer. Angela, a holiday or special occasion for you? The legend celebrated on this day supposedly defeated many foes, e.g. a dragon. Yes, it's easy to see why he has a feast day in his honour. 
I think that's St George's I Day. I think it is as well. An awful lot of punctuation in that one as well. Mm -hmm. St George's Day is the right answer. BT, we are back to you, and this time okay. we are no longer looking for uh, obscurely named holidays. <laughs> We're looking for rom coms. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Rom okay. okay, I've okay. seen okay. one. I count me interested. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's your rom com. Bookseller William and film star Anna suffer various misunderstandings till oh. nothing stands in the way of their love. <laughs> we've, I had, mean... we've had harder ones than that, I think. <laughs> it's Notting Hill. Notting Hill, I yeah. think it is. Right. OK, Aid, a rom-com for you. In this Gwyneth Paltrow film, the girl is odds-on to find love in at least one of the timelines. Oh, that's something about doors. It's sliding doors. Sliding doors. Mm. And the grammar girl is odds-on. Well done. Kima Bob, a rom-com for you. But which rom-com? The characters in this rom-com won't end up just friends, as they'll marry when they've known each other for 12 years, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, I got it. Mm. It's interesting. Is there a buzzer? <laughs> I saw Aid lead forward, so Is I did. a buzzer around? Uh, there will be if, if Kima can't... Uh... Kima knows this. Kima, come on, you know this. Will Harry met Sally? Oh! Will Harry met Sally? Oh! Well done, Kima. Thanks, so much. Oh, my God. Harry so met Sally. I'm not seeing that, you know? Yeah, well played. And, Angela, to end the round, we are currently seven from eight. Can we do eight from eight? When I need any of my friends to cheer up, I recommend this Clooney Pfeiffer vehicle to them. Hmm. My friends to cheer up, my Clooney Pfeiffer. No. Should time you out. Anybody else fancy it? Uh, no one going for it? Have you got this at home? It is one fine day. Oh. Is the answer. One fine day. <laughs> That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scores going into round two. Here's how we stand very, very close today. Angela, you have one. Kima, aid, BT, two points each. Yay. Round two. What pairs game are we going to play today? We're playing totes emoji. Oh. Uh, Angela, you're currently in fourth. You get to choose a partner. Who would you like to play with? Well, I feel... I'm not allowed to split up the family, am I? That's, I'm not a home wrecker. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with Kima. Just sticking with Kima. And we have BT and Aid as a team. Once again, Team Edmondson. Now, before the show, you all did a bit of homework. You sent me the name of a children's so book sorry, using Kima. just emojis. Uh, okay. uh, You've uh, now got to guess the emojis uh, that your partner sent me. BT, yeah. before the show, your father. He's actually a keen user of emojis. I usually use the clown face and the two hands that do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's my response to almost any message. <laughs> You'll find it works. <laughs> Have you picked up milk? <laughs> essentially Where <not>. are you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Aid before the show sent me the name of a children's book using just emojis, and here are the emojis he sent. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a dodo, mm. isn't it? Great use of uh, <sighs> the emojis. And the worm. Yeah. What's the worm? Okay. I think. It's Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. Well done. Hey. Well done, the Edmonds. <laughs> <laughs> OK, good. Nicely done. The Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It's the vial for me that really sends yeah. it over the yeah, top. Yeah, definitely. So, where I'm just like, wow. It's really well done. Also, respect for not doing uh, the hands and the clown face. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a very pleasant job. <laughs> 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 I mean, we still would have got it. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, Kima. <laughs> Kima, before the show, Angela oh, God, sent so me the sorry. name of a children's book Aren't using you? just emojis. But which children's book? Oh, this is going to be tough because I was never a child. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. I'm a Benjamin Button. Wow. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about it a lot. Well, then you'll know which books you can read in the future. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the to be recommendations. Later in life. <laughs> which children's book is this? 
great. Those are two, two different boys. <laughs> Have you got this at home? Got any thoughts on this one? Mm, boy. Mm. Can we buzz? No. You How can't. dare you? Think you, know you? <laughs> you think you know it? Um, no, I, well, I've got an outside interest. The, the boys in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we all we all love reading the boys in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a British rite of passage, boys in the bin. <laughs> the young, the young recyclers. <laughs> <laughs> the young recyclers. Um, Kima, shall we time you out? Aid, <gasps> if you were to have a guess. Stick of the dump. Oh, yeah. Stick of the dump. Oh, of the oh, dump. That's made me feel a bit better. Interesting. So the why, dump? why two boys then? Yeah. Well, it's a man and a boy because they didn't have a caveman, oh. but it's, the it's the caveman and the boy, yeah. isn't it? And oh, they have okay. some rubbish thing. And I just didn't dump. know what else to put. There was no. Well, I'm glad you went for that for dump. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think I'm going to go home and write the boys in the bin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The long awaited follow up to stick of the dump. Aid, before the show, BT sent me the name of a children's book using just emojis. But which children's book is this? Oh, blimey, there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, it's the yeah. very hungry cat. I mean, oh. that's an absolute yeah. gimme. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <Wow. laughs> very nice indeed. I think I got almost all the foods right I was well. going to say, that that really looks like the emojis are based on the yeah. book. Yeah. Angela, before the show, Kima sent me the name of a children's book. I did. OK. What is this book? It's a lot of caterpillars oh. in kids' books, aren't yeah. there? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, uh, James and the Giant Peach. Yeah. James and the Giant Peach? Yay! Absolutely. Yay! Very well played. <laughs> Kima and Angela, That's James really and the Giant good. Peach. That's really that good. That is evocative. Mm. They were that in is evocative. the ocean for a while. Yeah. And then they arrived in New York. They did. No and spoilers. That's the ocean. Oh, I was tempted to, I was, but it's like an apple will confuse it. Then you'll think it's the bugs in the fruit party water. <laughs> 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 the bugs in the fruit party water, which is, of course, the first paragraph of the boys in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> is the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scores. It is lovely and close again. It was close at the stage yesterday. Two points between the lot of you now. Angela, you have two. Keem are on three. BT and eight, joint leaders on four points each. <laughs> Team Edmonton, well done. Our third round today is... When, when they're singing fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. You know how we play this at home. Get your stopwatches out, your phones, whatever. What I'll do, I'll play you the first few bars of a song, OK? Mm -hmm. We'll fade it out. You will just play along with it in your head. And the moment you think the first word is sung in that song, you press your buzzer, OK? And whoever is closest to the first word wins a point. Everybody at home, first one coming up, start your stopwatches now. Four very different times. There we go. Four very different times. I, just, so, I literally forgot. What I, the I have no was. idea what the song is. <laughs> I'm with you as far as not. I just knowing. counted a certain number of bars. Oh, interesting. Even though you yeah. didn't it's know. somebody that I used to know by gotcha. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have four very different times. What have you got at home? What's on your stopwatch at home? Um, let's take a little listen, shall we, and see who scored a point. Kima. Oh, wow, it's a long intro. Oh, mm -hmm. keep it going. No, no, no. Oh, yeah! Okay. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hold on, you didn't know the song. <laughs> But you counted some bars. I counted bars. You counted bars. Oh, wow. That's a good song. You are within a tenth of a second. Very <laughs> nicely played, Aid. Very, Very well done. Point to you. Next song, everyone at home, press start on your stopwatches now.
<laughs> Everybody <laughs> in, you're not home. Yeah, I think it does. One of the greatest songs of all time, I would say. A little respect yeah. by Erasure. There are our timings. Let's take a look at who has scored a point. Oh. Very early. <laughs> Very early. Oh, man, I should have used my earlier strategy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd have been laughing. <laughs> final one in this round. Final chance to score a point. Have a little go at home. Start your timer now. Why not? Yeah, that's another. I went too early. You got it at home, so of course that is. I'm push it because you did. Heard it through the grapevine, Marvin Gaye. And let's take a look at our timings there. Everything from nine up to 17. What have you got at home on the stopwatch? Let's take a little listen, see who scored a point. The Evansons. Oh, oh, there's another bit. Wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, wow. Five, three, eight. Well done for holding out. <laughs> Very nicely played. That is the end of that round. Let's take a look at our score, shall we? Two rounds to go on Wednesday's House of Games. Very special week, a Champions Week. Winners, one and all. Kima and Angela, you have three points each. BT has four. He's leading the Edmondsons and he's leading the whole show. Aid Edmondson with six Yay. points. An eight. <laughs> Two rounds so to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of fun, Aid, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like adrenaline. It's heady, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> through my veins. <laughs> Shall we play another round? Yes, please. Well, yes, all right. We're going to have more. Yeah. <laughs> Our next round today is. I am not a robot. So, BT, if you take your tablet out, please. This yes. is based on those internet things about where you have to prove you're a human being. Uh huh. Essentially. Okay. What we're going to do is show you some squares. What happens if I am a robot? Well, then we'll. <laughs> we're about to find out, BT. This is the day they found yeah. out. <laughs> if you are, then I have some questions for you. Okay. I, have, I have to say more questions for A. <laughs> 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 so, there's your squares, and I want you to press every square that contains. The calyx, please. Oh, what? You know, the calyx. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know the calyx. The calyx. I'm just going to go... I'm going to go those bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's either that or it's or the, the seed. Or it's the or seed. The seed. Yeah. 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 What do you think at home on this one? What do you think the calyx is? Now, BT, are you a real human being? Am I? You Yay. are a real human being. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is huge. The green <laughs> I bit. know. Aid. Oh, Marvel. Get your tablet out, please. We have some pictures for you. And could you please press on any square to which the knight can move? There we go. Are you sticking with those? Absolutely. The trouble is, if you were a robot, you'd know how to play chess as well, because chess yeah. can play, because <laughs> robots can play chess. Notoriously yeah. this is so. Confirmative. <laughs> Only if you're a robot. Aid, <laughs> uh, are you a real human being? You are. Yeah. It'd be weird to have a daughter who wasn't a real human being <laughs> yeah. if you yeah. weren't as well. If yeah. you were a robot and you were a real human being. I feel being, like it was a pointless yeah. test. Yeah. Again, <laughs> then there would be questions for Jennifer. Kima, <laughs> yeah. mm, mm. you'll take your tablet out, please. It's like, you're so bossy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, it's good, you pause, but then you still do it. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You show me that, oh. you know. There's resistance, <laughs> but also you're a people pleaser enough that you do actually do it. Yeah, fine. It's a nice combination. Um, could you please press any square that has the bridge in Right. I love that. Fun little guesses. That feels good to me. Why not? You got to use the bridge to connect the, the body to the spindle. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, wise words, Kima, I have to say. <laughs> is Kima a real human being? Is that the bridge? This uh, not... so oh, great. Oh, good. It's a bit at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, great. The bridge upon which the strings sit. Right. Uh, Angela, are you a real human being or are okay. you a robot? We've got two human beings so far and one robot. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Can you show us... Oh. oh, I love this. The music artists who were born in the 21st century, please. Oh, God, I feel so old. <laughs> it doesn't feel right, that, does it, the 21st century? It really century? doesn't. Surely none of them, cos none of them are four. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go for the ones that look like children, which love is it. all of them. Love it. Okay, definitely Billie Eilish. Oh, that's... I mean, she looks like a child at the bottom. I don't think... I don't know who they are. <laughs> It's tough. It's a tough life. Um, I, I wonder if the beard is there to throw me into thinking he's older. <laughs> so I'm going to put him in. <laughs> Happy? Yep. Stick in. Uh, so you've got Billie Eilish, Dave mm. and Olivia Rodrigo there. What do you think at home? Agree, disagree? And you've also got Miley Cyrus, Dua Lipa and Louis Capaldi as well. Angela, are you a robot or a real human being? We have oh! another oh, and robot. I put him in at the last Minute. That is unlucky. Ooh, Dave close. is the only one you got wrong. Born oh, in 98, not... Dave. The others Dying all it. born in the boring old 20th century, if <laughs> you remember that. Oh, <laughs> never been there. <laughs> the best century. Uh, that is the end of that round, a round in which the Edmondsons have proved they are not robots. Congratulations. That's lovely to hear. Uh, we have one round to go <laughs> on Wednesday's House of Games. Let's take a look at the scores uh, leading such into a bad day. Answer Smash. <laughs> one round to go. One round to go. Kima and Angela, three points each. Oh, Beatty, you have five. Aid. It's but it's just a two point too lead over I think BT. I might explode. <laughs> <laughs> Can he hold on to it? Aid Edmondson. <laughs> oh, shall we do this? Oh, Have you got okay. a medic standing by? <laughs> <laughs> Aid, well, we've had a medic ill week for you. I promise. <laughs> it was always going to come to this eventually. Our final round, of course, is. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off. Don't forget for an incorrect answer. Your first category is. British wildlife. Oh, British sick. wildlife. <laughs> that will be uh, <laughs> those will be the pictures. Sorry, Kima. There'll be clues above. Which tennis champion won the 1973 Battle of the Sexes match against Bobby Riggs? Oh, yes, that is BT. Billie Jean Kingfisher. Billie Jean Kingfisher. <gasps> it's the right answer. Well done, <laughs> Billie Jean King and Kingfisher. Getting awful close now, isn't it? <laughs> next question, next picture. The French sauce beurre blanc is typically made using which small variety of onion? <laughs> yes, aid. Oh, oh, what an idiot! Scallionotta. It is not, I'm afraid. Oh. It is a point that is beaty. Shalotta. Shalotta. Shalotta oh. is the right oh. answer. Oh. Oh, you know I said it was think, close, eh? I think she's ahead now. Oh. Yeah, I think... <laughs> uh, oh, my God, I'd love it if you throw this away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next clue, next picture. Which character is devoured by the Kraken at the end of the film Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest? <laughs> yes, Angela. Smeagol? Smeagol? That's incorrect. No. I'm afraid you lose a point. <laughs> Anybody fancy it? Let's find out the answer. Oh, Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow Hawk was the answer. Smeagol was a very good wrong answer. <laughs> Next category. Politicians. <laughs> good news. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. What term denotes the time when TV programmes, which might be unsuitable for children, can be broadcast? <laughs> yes, aid. Watershed balls. Watershed balls. <laughs> 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 I mean, if ever a phrase sums up your entire career, Aidan, <laughs> watershed balls pretty much does it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it is very, very close at the top of the leaderboard. Here's your next clue and your next picture. Who won a Best Actress Oscar for her performance in the 1989 film Driving Miss Daisy? Oh, what's... Oh. Yes, Kima. Janet, this guy. Is it Janet, this guy? It's, um... Thank you for joining us, <laughs> Kima. I just want to be a part of it. <laughs> so, Teddy, 
It is Jessica Tandy How Burnham. Does it? I can't think of her name. Jessica Tandy and Andy Burnham. Jessica Tandy Burnham. <gasps> or Janet, this guy, as, uh, as, <laughs> as they say in America. To be fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next question and next picture. Who played Archie Mitchell in EastEnders and Mick Shipman in Gavin and Stacey? Yes, Angela. Larry Lamber Rudd. Larry Lamber Rudd? Absolutely right. Larry Lamb and Amber Rudd. Larry Lamber Rudd. Next category. <laughs> oh, we're done. Oh. We are done. Oh. Aid had a two point lead. He got one. He gave some oh, away. BT got some as well. <laughs> Interesting. I think it might be a tie. In the Battle of the Edmondsons, who has won Wednesday's House but of Did Games? Angela not make some ground? It as well, is. Though. No, I didn't. I only got one in that. Uh, tie break. <laughs> we have ourselves an Edmondson tie break. Aid, BT, <gasps> one final answer smash between the two of you. Oh, and one of you mm. is going to be Wednesday's champion. One of you is going to enjoy Christmas this year. <laughs> Who is it going to be? If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you are a Wednesday champion. Best of luck to both of you. Who's going to be our champion? It's going to be Aid Edmondson or BT Edmondson. Our category mm. is action stars. The picture will be an action star. There will be a clue above. Here we go. Let's decide this once and for all. Which German philosopher published his Critique of Pure Reason in 1781? Oh, oh! BT. Cantonio Banderas. Cantonio Banderas? Is it? Yes! Yeah. Absolutely right. right. Emmanuel yes. Kant, Antonio Banderas, Emmanuel Cantonio Banderas. What a way to win on Emmanuel Cantonio <laughs> Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy you are. It's actually the only philosopher I know. BT, you've won a prize <laughs> amidst all this excitement. Um, what exciting. would you like to take home with you to taunt your oh, father with? Gosh. Do you know what? It's got to be the toilet set. Got to be the, to be be the, the toilet, toilet set. set. That's the BT thing. Edmondson takes home the House of Games golden toilet set. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we? Oh, the aid is pretending not to be gutted. <laughs> It's a strange Absolutely. picture of being gutted and quite proud. Yes, I mean, it's, uh, yes, an unusual <laughs> one, that, isn't it? Not many people have been in your exact position. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kima, you have three. Eight, eight, BT9, Angela, ten. All very, very close to two days to go, including, of course, double points double Friday. Points. Angela at the top of the leaderboard. BT at the top of the, uh, the Edmondson's leaderboard as well. <laughs> well played, everybody. That, that was, was a lot of fun. Really Let's fun. do the same tomorrow, shall we? Not exactly yeah. the same. I can't take it. Uh, but <laughs> I just got to go and see my doctor and I... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'll tell me if I can come back tomorrow. <laughs> lovely. Well, I, I hope you can, It'll be lovely to see you. Uh, let's do similar tomorrow. We'll see you as well tomorrow on the House of Games. Cheap. It feels cheap. Excuse me? But <gasps> it doesn't look cheap. Oh, hello. <laughs> look at that. Oh, lovely action on that. Yeah.